If we go through a few more pages, we'll read Bala Sulam saying that the exertion is something they won't, they're going to force you to do this exertion. So where do we focus this exertion? On the later reforms or to try to, I don't know how to define it, to reach this inversion to try to justify even orally? First of all, to always brainwash yourself with our material. Wherever you are, you must listen, and I recommend the 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 most the the best thing I recommend is the Shamati articles or some of the letters, some things there are perhaps. unrelated to the work of the Creator or more focused on personal states, specific states. But for the first thing is the study. There's, there's no no other choice. You have to study as much as you can. And to study means to, to, to listen. It's not in your in your understanding. It's not in your intellect. It's just to put yourself under the influence under that that flow of the material. Secondly is the group, meaning to try and work on the connection to some extent until it becomes precious to you. And there's dissemination and some other concerns along the lines of the correction of the world. But the main thing is the study and then the group. Without studying, the group won't help you either. As they write in the introduction to tests, item 155, you have to draw the light that reforms. It doesn't just come to just come through the group and that's it. If you'll be great friends. You need the material written by Kabbalists that connects you to the upper source. 